Okay, ladies and gents, my name is Coach Kayla, and in this exercise tutorial, I'm going to show you the proper ways to do a kettlebell swing. So, a lot of people do the kettlebell swing wrong, and it's freaking frustrating. So, <laughs> you can point yourself out if you can find yourself in your technique, all right? So, a lot of people do their swings like this. It's hard to do, <laughs> right? So, if you are squatting and then doing a front arm raise, that is a squat in the front arm raise. It's not a kettlebell swing. You're not swinging the bell itself. Um, another way people do kettlebell swings wrong is they just go too far and do too much, right? This right here is possibly gonna throw your back out, <laughs> which we don't want to happen. And again, you're using more momentum than muscle. Now, this is one of those weird exercises that uses a combination of both muscle and momentum but if you only use one this is straight muscle okay this squat and front raise is straight muscle this here is just momentum all right it's a combination exercise so the goal is going to be use adequate muscle to generate enough force to push the bell and then two is going to be Focus on the rhythm and the timing so that momentum kind of picks up and then you can go for 20, 30 reps, all right? So first up, when we talk about the kettlebell swing, we need to understand what its purpose is. Yes, of course, sure, any rhythmic movement, you're going to get a little bit of cardio out of. So that part is great. Your heart rate should be pumping. Now, the kettlebell swing works a few different areas. The proper way to do a swing, all right, we're starting feet wider than shoulder width apart, okay? I'm gonna show you diagonals so that you can see. The biggest area of focus for the kettlebell swing are the hips, all right? So a proper swing, notice, knee bent, arms out, grabbing the bell, bringing it back and pushing my hips. The most targeted area of muscular focus for the kettlebell swing this thing right here. So if you want to focus on your glutes and also generate overall power from your hips, right? Not just the glutes, but your overall hips and a little bit of quads, the swing is what you're looking for, okay? So as a glute dominant, as a hip extension dominant exercise, this is the proper way to do a swing. Show you from this position here. Again, I like to start with my bell on the ground in front of me, okay? Because as I, and also a wide stance. This is how wide my stance is. Shoulder width apart, my feet are here. If I go outside of my shoulders, this is a really perfect position. It's a perfect position for my squat. It's a perfect position for my deadlift. So I wanna have a fairly wide stance for my kettlebell swing so I can work all the muscles that I need to work, okay? Also, sidebar, kettlebell swing is not an arm exercise. It's not, all right? <laughs> so with a wider than shoulder width base, I sit my hips back because the purpose of the glutes is they are hip extenders, all right? Your glutes are hip extenders. I'm extending the hip from here. I am increasing the angle of the hip, about a 100 degree angle, right? Shoulder to knee here. Here, I'm working on maybe a 90 degree. So I'm increasing the angle of the hip, right? So glutes are hip extenders as well as hip abductors, but we're not getting into that part today. All right, so for this hip extension exercise, I start feet down, arms out. From here, I just allow gravity to simply swing the bell back. Now this belt, my hands are coming right on the inside of my thighs, okay? My arms, so my forearms should be touching the inside of my thighs with the bell. From here, my glutes are now loaded like a spring. So imagine jumping. You stand up straight, <laughs> that's really hard. That's just all cats, right? But if you load your jump, so if you load your jump, I don't want to hit the ceiling because I can jump really high. <laughs> but if you load your jump, as in you put the muscles in a position where they can accept more force and then generate more, or they accept more um, inertia to generate more force, that's perfect. So again, here, sitting back, my chest is still up. My back is still tight. My back is locked solid. Grab the bell. I allow gravity to take it back, okay? From here is where my hip extension starts. So I'll give you a few. Pop, pop. Notice the rotation is only here, 
Okay, I'll even do single. The rotation is hips, okay? Now, the biggest focus is that hip extension. It's not a slow move. It's not a slow move. It is a powerful driving move, okay? So again, you should be focusing on an explosion of those hips. It's a hard movement for the glutes, okay? That's number one. Now, that's a Russian kettlebell swing. Okay, so if you look at the American kettlebell swing, the American kettlebell swing is where the arms come all the way up. So I'll show you that here. The start off should still be the same. Okay, again, I like to start with the bell on the ground because it allows my body to get in a really good position. So for your American swing, same start. The difference is the bell goes all the way up. Okay, come down difference is the bell goes all the way up. I'm still loading my hips. It's still a glute dominant exercise, but I'm pushing as hard as I can for the bell to go above my head. Then I'm controlling the descent with my shoulders and my upper back for the bell to go right back in place and my hips loaded and pop, pop, and pop. Okay. And you can see it like a good way to tell the force that I'm using is look at my hair. <laughs> you can see when that thing pops, you can see when that thing snaps because I'm using a lot of force to generate, okay? So, a lot of people do kettlebell swings wrong. Again, this is the no-no. I'll show you from the front. See if you can see the difference. Okay? Another no-no for this is we are sinking straight down, right, into a front raise. This is not a swing. It's just a squat in the front raise. It's a bad squat in front raise, okay? So again, proper way to do a kettlebell swing that will fo focus on burning massive fat in the glutes and building muscle. If your glutes, if you want big glutes or you want strong glutes, either way, you gotta burn fat, okay? A nice size booty isn't just fat, all right? It's also muscle. Muscle shapes fat. So if your butt has some kind of lines or some little wrinkles and some things, and I'm not talking about stretch marks, that's just fat deposits. That means that we need to focus on building the glute musculature, okay? And power exercises are great for building muscle mass, okay? So again, proper kettlebell swing, starting here, I'm gonna take you through it, right? Feet wide and shoulder width apart, number one. Knees bent, number two. I want you to retract the shoulder blades, okay? Imagine, Coach Kayla is putting a quarter in between your shoulder blades, right here, and you have to pinch it. So if you have to pinch that quarter, you're going to uh, retract. Retracting the shoulder blades brings the chest up, it locks the back in a tight position, all right? Swing your shoulder width apart, nice solid bend, retract the shoulder blades, grab that dumbbell, Swing it, pop, and pop, and pop, okay? Now, your head, it's okay if your head follows the bell. It's okay, all right? Don't go too far back, all right? Or it's okay if your head stays in one position. That's up to you. And lastly, I'll make two small details, okay? I'll share with you two small details. One is the arm positions, okay? Well, one, right? <laughs> the arm position. Your arms can be straight, all right? I don't really like that, but give your arms a little solid bend, all right? Notice that here, a little solid bend here, pop. The straighter the arm, the longer the lever, the more likely it is for you to throw your back, right? Out of shoulder retraction and put your body in a position where it's more momentum. All right, this is another way not to do a swing because that's focusing on momentum. So show me or tell me in the comments what type of kettlebell swings do you usually do? Is it a squat in the front raise or is it a, a swing, a momentum, right? So let me know in the comments if you liked this episode, but also if you have an exercise that you want me to go over, all right? I'm doing this little series. so. Type in the comments what types of swings you usually do and what you're converted to, which is this proper way to do it. And also, 
let me know if you have any exercises that you would like me to dive in and do a full tutorial. Hope this was helpful and I look forward to helping you design your body.